Hello, uh, welcome to .programming.blogspot.com. Today I will show you how to use link data source in ESP.NET. Uh, before uh, going to use the link data source, first to add a link to a SQL classes uh, file, or you can say .dbml file, uh, into your application code folder. When you uh, when you end when you pick uh, that file. Uh, on project level view website level link to a skill classes that is the extension is dbml then uh, this file inserted in application code folder okay uh, the name of the file is data context file uh, according to uh, entity framework okay okay now add this file into uh, application code file after adding this file uh, you can load um, table from the SQL server or you can say uh, server explorer uh, onto the dbml file so I have a file uh, that is fruits and the user tables so drag and drop fruit tables on dbml okay you can also drag user table on it any other uh, table uh, you can drag on dbml uh, this explorer actually is similar with the entity framework model first approach relationship uh, is not there between the um, both tables and uh, i want to use the link data source by using this uh, dbml file or you can say bind the uh, SQL data source uh, sorry link data source with this file so if you want to uh, again open this diagram and um, if you want to make changes in it then simple um, double click on this file and uh, open this um, this in explorer okay now add a new web form and add a link data source from the toolbox and simply uh, the same procedure you can follow uh, if you uh, if you have a, a processor of SQL data source okay so link to SQL data source that is the name of the page and drag link data source from the toolbox and configure that uh, control by using the show smart tag select data context uh, and also select the checkbox that is show only data context object that is previously added in using the dbml file and uh, context table inherits all the tables from using this properties by using fruits and the table name is fruit only you can see uh, by using the drop down menu okay select all the same functionality uh, pro, uh, provided by uh, link data source it's similar with the SQL data source all these um, advanced options are there delete in certain updates okay so apply the insert and delete uh, sorry update and deletes because I want to bind um, grid view with this uh, control so drag grid view control and simple bind with the link data source similarly with the SQL data source and also select the uh, editing and deleting checkbox now save this and uh, run this uh, code on browser so thank you thank you very much for watching this video tutorials please keep watching my all other video tutorials and uh, learn many more things about uh, <coughs> ASP.NET uh, thank you thank you very much if you want to learn many more technologies please visit my prog uh, visit my uh, website that is dot programming dot com uh, here the dot programming means dot dot prog p r o g r a m i n g only uh, not considered to double M-I-N-G, okay? So, thank you, thank you very much.
and link given below of the my website uh, where you get all other technologies videos thank you thank you very much